carrying on with our kitchen install project. Basically, once you have all your cabinets attached, you want to figure out what you're going to do for countertops. So in this case, we decided to do a tile countertop, but you need a really good solid substrate for tile. Tile countertops require a solid substrate, so in this case I used double layers of 5 8 plywood, good one side. a tile countertop you need a good substrate that's number one number two you need to decide what type of tile you're using some will have tighter grout lines some will have larger grout lines that all depends on your choice obviously but the substructure needs to be set up for whatever you choose and then in this case here I have laid a quarter inch hardy board on top of that And then, in this case, I chose solid fur for the nosing. You can sand it, you can stain it, you can round it off, you can keep it square. Gives you lots of options, and then that will give something for the tile to butt up against you. Here's the tile substrate. This is the quarter inch hardy board fastened directly onto the plywood. And this is three quarter inch by two inch solid fur nosing. And the idea is then with the mortar, you can bring your tiles right in close and have just maybe an eighth space here for caulking. So I started the tile laid out here in the center of the sink exactly, pre-cut these pieces, and I'll work from left and right of the sink, and that will make a even layout. In this case, I put the cement board in there first, and if you're going with tile to concrete or tile to cement board, you use a non-polymer mortar. But one thing I've learned over time is that you have these dissimilar materials, wood and tile. They expand and contract at different rates. So what we use then is the colored caulk between the wood and the tile. So we've laid all the tiles here, let them set over the weekend, I've cleaned out all the grout lines, and now we're in preparation for grouting, and so we'll start that process. Just getting ready to start the grouting process here, we've mixed up some grout, and essentially it needs to be like peanut butter. You stir it, and you let it sit for 10 minutes. If it falls off your knife, it's too wet. So this may be a little too wet to start with here. We'll try it, I can always thicken it. Once it starts kicking, it's, that's it. You can't go back and rehydrate it. It'll always crack here, and it'll always crack in front where the water sits. So use a silicone caulk around the perimeter, grout the main part. You use a grout float. So it's like a rubber pad on one side, rubber inside, smooth. And the idea is you work it diagonally into the, into the grout lines. So we'll try this.
So in this process, I'm flooding it across the tile all the way. But then as I return, I push hard on the edge, it's like a chiseled edge. And I actually start removing the grout from the tile because you don't want to leave material here on the tile. And that's our finished tile kitchen counter project. I hope you've enjoyed this project. It's been a challenge for me and I think the owners will be happy with it. Uh, the sink is in, it's looking good, it should function very well and this counter should last a long time.